Hello there my fellow royal fans, today's instalment. William's mother-in-law, Carol Middleton, has been hit with a deluge of negative press in the past few days. Carol and her husband, Michael Middleton, recently sold party pieces. The couple was paid only £180,000 for their party paraphernalia business, which was initially valued at several millions of pounds. The sale of the company left Catherine's parents in a humiliating situation. The business people now owe creditors £2.6 million and are unable to repay it. Carol Middleton and Michael Middleton's names have been dragged in the mud by angry and distraught creditors, banks and companies who cannot get their money back. Sultani Gas, a company that supplied party pieces with helium, slammed the couple in a statement that dragged Prince William and the monarchy into the drama. A spokesman said, What hurt me the most was that I trusted her as the mother-in-law of the future king, and she just betrayed me. It is absolutely unacceptable. A close friend of Carol Middleton told Richard Eden that she is devastated over the situation. The person went on to reveal that the businesswoman worked in vain to solve the matter. The vast amount of details leaked about the disastrous state of affairs of the Middletons started chatters claiming that a senior royal who is not a big fan of Princess Catherine has been pushing the humiliating stories. Many are baffled that Prince William has not discreetly intervened to help or do some damage control to save his wife and in-laws reputations. In the past, Prince William made it clear that he profoundly appreciates his mother and father-in-law. Andrew Morton, a royal author, revealed in a documentary that Prince William, whose parents' marriage fell apart when he was relatively young, saw the Middletons as the ideal family. Journalist Richard Kay added, Everything about William you can trace back to what happened to his parents. He lived through the bitter breakup of their marriage. He knows that what happened to them destroyed their marriage and he is very careful not to make the same mistakes. Many are looking at King Charles III for opting not to give the parents of his daughter-in-law a helping hand. What do you guys think? Do they deserve a helping hand? Should the monarchy intervene? Leave your comments below, like and subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for the latest royal family news. Goodbye for now.